What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. We are playing this new game and shrouded. Everyone is playing it, but I didn't have a chance to play it at launch. So let's just see what is it all about. I have tried it yesterday, but since my voice quality wasn't so good, I needed to re-record it one more time. When you stand next to the fire, you are gonna get rested. I don't know what does it rested mean. Is it a rested XP like the RPG games that gonna level up faster, or maybe it's just about the stamina? Whatever. Commune with the flame. You slumbered for too long, flame boy. The realm of Ember Vale has fallen, consumed by the shroud. Now the enduring flame calls for you. Find a place in the ruined world and construct a flame altar to create shelter from the dark. To go into the world. The world looked a little bit too bright for me, but I didn't be able to find any sort of settings in any option in the settings to be able to change the brightness. A vast world awaits you, filled with secrets and peril. Press I and navigate to the map track your discoveries well if i want to open the map i should press m not i and this is the plans for the planes for the first base good that it's already showing me my first base location it's just there and the world looks actually really big let's just explore it to see what's going on this light is guiding me through this tunnel and there's a chest here let's just open it take them all we have two bandages up here let's get in what is this i can't use that so there's another torch there's a lot of torch in the beginning of the game the game wants me to wants me to have a torch really bad so it's gonna give me a torch everywhere we have some bombs use a terraforming tool or explosive to forge a path through the rubble explosive powder balls can be thrown explosive barrels are detonated at range so we are gonna throw some bomb at this wall and we are gonna open the way here just like that and now we get the hatchet Oh, I didn't meant to do that. I'm not gonna read that. And one of the problems that I found with this game that if I press the hotkey for the hotbar, not it's only gonna select it, it's gonna even use it. Just like you see, I accidentally dropped the bomb. I'm gonna place it here so I don't drop it, throw it accidentally. And I'm gonna place some of the stuff here. Can't you use like off your, don't you have an off hand to hold the torch? Seems like you don't. Okay, just go down. Let's see what else we can find here. I don't think there is anything else, but there is a hidden way with a chest, another torch, and the bandage. I told you there's a lot of torch in the beginning of the game. And here we are. It's kind of remind me of the Elden Ring. We're going here another torch the flame allows you to resist the shroud but if you linger you will perish escape the shroud to replenish your maximum time in the shroud let's go down this place i just i know there is nothing behind those ball i tried it in my last playthrough press tab to lock on the foe and control to dodge good we are in the shroud so we should be fast to leave this place and just like that you're gonna kill the enemy they're harmless they're not gonna do that much to you oh they're gonna leave something behind what do you have some runes some shard spores and some rusty short sword so maybe the sword is, is sword better than axe i don't know and we left the cave if you fall you will rise again at your last return beacon this is a beacon it's some sort of like check respawn point for me there's a small camp here i'm not gonna search it for now i'm gonna do it later let's just go what is this a dead rabbit some meat harvest and eat berries to replenish your health over time it will prepare you for the dangers ahead okay so we're gonna eat berries there's rock on the ground gonna collect it just like every single survival games 
Okay. I need more rocks. And I need plant fiber too. So let's just collect them too. You need a lot of plant fiber in this game. Because everything needs strings to be made of. We have an enemy here. These one are actually tough. They are no joke. These are no joke and you can see my stamina bar on the left side of the screen. Okay, oh they're going for a combo. So okay, we stagger him. Good. Enemy is slain. Let's see what he left behind. Some shroud spores and some cloth. I'm not going to that place right now. Let's just get to this. Okay, I have reached the place. Now I should make the flame altar. The flame altar will mark the spot for your base. In your base, you will later be able to craft and build shelter. Craft the flame altar and place it to establish your base. You don't have to place your altar in the plains. You can choose any above shroud area to establish your base. We're going to the crafting. And here we have a flame altar. We're gonna craft that. And it is on my hotbar. Place alt and two. I want a flat area flattest area that i could i think that's good let's just place it here commune with the flame one more time you are not alone there are other survivors drowsing in nearby ancient vaults find them so they may aid your journey go gently one beacons nearby just outside of the shroud's grasp uh, what else that I want to do is I need to make a storage and a workshop so I can make a bow. How can I make a storage? I, I need to craft some strings. I have one string only. That's not nice. We need wood and a string. By the way, to collect the wood, you should hit this tree with eggs, but the... Like the animation is just like the way you fight and it's a little bit tricky because sometimes like your character moves and you should adjust them and we have boulder you can collect some rock by hitting the boulder with your axe you don't have a pickaxe yet so let's just use our axe or hatchet actually and now i need some plant fiber can get plant fiber by these bushes okay we made our first workbench to rotate it you should hold r then use your mouse wheel to rotate your item if you hold x the snapping feature will be activated but i don't want to use the snapping feature i'm gonna place it right here and i need a wooden arrow i have twigs i need more twigs let me just catch more i don't know if this stuff gonna respawn later though this has to be a respawn yes I'm gonna make... Oh, by the way, you don't need to use the workbench to craft a wooden arrow. Wooden arrow can be crafted manually. Now, I need to make a... What does it call? A storage. String and twigs. Okay, more bushes. To make a storage, I need three string. And two more string. And now I can make a storage. But the storage doesn't have that much space though. It's good for the beginning of the game. Why does it upside down? Okay, I'm gonna place some stuff here. Okay, now I think we're good to go to the next location to find the next survivor. And I have some arrows too. That is great. What is this? I should mine them i think oh there is a wolf let's use our bow okay nice shot and just like that we killed him great let's just loot him now i can make wand i should go that way what is that oh that's a mushroom the light is guiding me through this way brilliant bridge i don't have to do anything there what do we got 
One more torch for my collection. I'm not gonna take that. And I'm not gonna read that. What do we got here? Bandage. Okay, we have a lot of bandages. Bandages are always good. And we are getting to the shroud. Stay on the path. Let the shroud skin take you. Salvation lies straight ahead. What? Did the shroud take me? I didn't know what this it does. Okay, these toys are a tough one. But you can easily stagger them. This hourglass capsule replenish your remaining time in the shroud. It's consumed upon, used, and cannot be stashed in the inventory. I don't need that. So let's save it for later. Maybe on the next time I'm gonna use that. I needed to use that. Okay, the path is straightforward. Just go through this way. We are about to get out of the shroud. We are gonna. Oh, I don't have a stamina. You need a full bar of stamina to climb these bars. I think the half is enough. Yes, good, good, good. There's a tent here. What do we got? Interact with campfire to cook food or sit near them with eggs to become rested in the wild. I don't need that. There's another journal. I think I can read them later in the menu. Or I hope so because most of the games have this feature. Okay, this is the way that I should go. We have an enemy here that have a crossbow. He dead. Level 2. Who what to have? Metal scrap. Now we can craft lockpick. Okay, here's our friends. This year we're going to fight with them. We need to hold C to be able to ambush our enemies but these things are okay what are those i don't know but i just killed them okay it says to like hide here i have can i have like the sneak attack gonna do more damage but does he say it okay Holy fuck, it's a night time. Why did I see it? These ones are tough, they're no joke. Oh, you see? Oh my god, just one shot at me, man. Okay, the bad part is that we have to go all this way, and it's night time, so. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna stay till the morning. Yeah, I'm gonna sell in the morning. Let's just collect some woods until the morning came. I want to go there in the dark to see if there is any additional danger in the night. I don't think it looks pretty safe for me. We have a wolf here that is here even in the night in the daylight. And he's even a suck. You're going down there. I'm not going that way though. Is it the right way? Yes. Okay, it seems like the night is not as dangerous as I thought it could be. Or might it might be on the shroud though. Sigil ring of the elder guards. I'm gonna check that out once I left the shroud. Okay, what does it gonna do to me? Stamina and health. Great, I'm gonna equip it and uh, let's just get to that place that I died. It's better to stay out of range. Yeah, it's better to stay at oh my god, I just wasted my arrow. I died there. That is my grave retrieve. Not the very important stuff too, but let me Kill the suit. Okay, the headshot hit him one more time. Oh, there's two of them. Okay, he dead. That's how you're gonna fight with these creatures from distance. And he has elixir. I don't need that threat. Let's just check out these places. More journals that I'm not going to read. There's a ladder here. Up to the upper floor. What do we get? More journal. Chests. Some explosive balls. 
and nothing more so let's just go down what about that structure maybe another chest another ladder no nothing okay what is this let's just get inside of this building if i sit am i gonna do more damage oh my god no ammo holy fuck can i craft some yes i can good i think i had what the fuck oh my god headshot okay gonna save her from him and there goes all my arrows you're gonna use a lot of arrow ancient vault blacksmith oh yeah here our friend is there is nothing more here there is a door that lead to a chest it's need a lockpick i can make a lockpick let's just make one and use my lockpick to open it and uh, it's open oh it have a metal star mace amazing should i drag them up there okay i'm gonna use it instead of my it has 11 damage all of them has 11 damage as of with that it's cutting it's more like a piercing and blunt it's cutting and blunt i'm gonna use my mace because it sounds cooler and here's the a vacant the survivor i have the survivor now and i have to return to my base what is that when you need to rest you can fast travel back to your home by opening your map navigate to the map with i and start your home and, and select your home i'm sorry not to start your home select your home and this is my home level one let's just fast travel there here we are find a sleeping survivor now i need to make a what is it called the summoning stuff i need tweaks do i have any tweaks here i think i have have do i have no it seems like i don't okay i'm gonna collect some tweaks and return to make the summoning stuff Oh, there's a lot of enemies there. Is it because it's a night time or are they gonna be there normally? Damn, look at this place, man. It screams danger. Got some tweaks. Let's go back to base and make the summoning stuff. We summoning stuff. Okay, now we can use five and now we can invite our new friend to our base yes at long last i return i am a humble blacksmith at your service let's prepare you for what to come oswald andres the blacksmith unsheltered i need to make a shelter for him crafting first gear took you long enough to find me look at you weak and punny and they call you flameborn first thing you need is equipment lucky you woke me up first crafting gear scrappy sword and this a spiked club or some armor will serve us well i'm gonna do that cleansing fire ember veil can still be saved where there's ash there is embers Kid, the shroud suffocates the valley so seek the elixir veil with your new gear and raise the root of our misery ignite the depths and set the evil ablaze go on i'm counting on you flame burn okay well rested even with the new gear you shouldn't feel too safe out there rest up and eat well before you head out a fire a roof over your head and some meat in your belly will prepare you for anything and i can craft some stuff here i can make the spite club level 4 melee weapon 17 damage okay just need nails and wood logs and nails need metal scrap so it's not that hard to get this is great weapon one handed weapon one handed scrappy sword scrappy club i think i make a scrappy sword yes okay this is it for this episode thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this please leave a like and subscribe for more content in the future thank you so much and have a nice day goodbye